Yeah, guys, that's right. The Senate's role is to advise and consent for the president's cabinet picks, but some of those choices are drawing some scrutiny. The president-elect is naming some of the final additions to his cabinet, and Oklahoma's two senators offering differing opinions on how to vet them. Senator James Langford says they will all go through the full confirmation process. Everybody's going to get a fair shake. Everybody's going to have the opportunity to be able to go through this process, and we'll let the process work out. Meanwhile, Senator Mark Wayne Mullen signaling he'll support all of Trump's nominees. President Trump is putting people there that's going to make changes. Of the more controversial cabinet picks, former Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard for Director of National Intelligence. Some lawmakers are raising concerns after Gabbard held a secret meeting with Syria's president and made comments in support of Russia. Langford says he wants to know the context behind those. Well, we'll have lots of questions. She met with Bashir Assad. We'll want to know what the purpose was and what the direction uh, for that that was uh, as a member of Congress. Meanwhile, Senator Mullen coming to Gabbard's defense. She campaigned with Mullen in Oklahoma during his Senate run back in 2022. If she was compromised, if she wasn't able to uh, to pass a background check, if she wasn't able to do her job, she still wouldn't be in the Army. Right. This is political uh, because she's upset that Tulsi Gabbard left the Democrat Party because they went woke. Langford and Mullen will be part of a new Republican majority in the Senate and says one of their first jobs in this new Congress is to approve the nominees. American people gave President Trump a mandate, a mandate because they want to change the way government has been working. There will be a long process that will go through that has already begun. Now, hearings there on Capitol Hill for President-elect Trump's picks will begin on January 3rd and go on for several weeks. Reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.